come to biology the center study of life. Amunities are tetrapods that have a terrestrially adapted uh, egg. Amunities are a group of tetrapods whose living members are the reptiles including bears and the mammals as shown this figure. During their evolution, amunities acquired a number of new adaptations of life, uh, to life on land. Notice this figure, uh, a phylogeny uh, of amunites, its tiny groups, are named at the top of a um, bold face type. The additional lines on the tattles, in the tattles branch indicate that uncertainty around the relationship of tattles uh, to the other reptiles. Uh, derived characters of amunites. Am, um, Amunites uh, are named for the major derived character of the clade, the amunitic egg, which contains specialized membranes that protect the embryo, called extra embryonic membranes, uh, because they are not part of the body of the embryo itself. These membranes develop from tissue layers that grow out from the embryo. They function in gas exchange, waste storage, and the transfer of storage nu uh, nutrients uh, to the embryo. The amniotic egg is named for one of these membranes, uh, the amnion, which encloses a compartment of fluid that bathes the embryo uh, and acts as a hydraulic shock absorber. Um, in contrast to the shellless eggs of amphibians, the amniotic egg uh, of most reptiles and some mammals have a shell. The shells of bird eggs are uh, calcareous, made of calcium uh, carbonate and inflexible, while the shells of many non-bird reptile eggs are leathery and flexible. The shell significantly slows the hydration of the egg uh, in air, an adaptation that allowed amniotes to occupy a wider range of terrestrial uh, habitats than amphibians. Their closest living relative seeds played a similar role in the evolution of land plants. Most mammals have dispensed with the shell and the embryo avoids uh, desiccation, desiccation uh, by developing within the mother. Amuntis also acquired other adaptations uh, to terrestrial life, including less permeable skin and the ability to use the rib cage of um, ventilate the lungs. Whereas earlier tetrapods and uh, living amphibians generally sprawl uh, their legs out, leaving amuntis display to varying degrees, a more ele elevated stance. Illy amuntis, the most recent common ancestor of living amphibians, and amuntis likely lived during the late Dev uh, Devonian period. Non fossils of amuntic eggs have been found from that time, which is uh, not surprising given uh, how delicate uh, they are. Those it is not yet possible to say when the amniotic egg evolved, although uh, it must have existed in the last common ancestor of living and uh, amniotes, which all have amniotic eggs. What is evident from fossils of early amniotes and their uh, closest uh, relatives is that they lived in drier environments than did earlier tetrapods. Some of them were behaviors uh, or, or were herbivores as uh, evidenced by their grinding teeth and other uh, features. Herbivores and the uh, um, amuntis began consuming large amounts uh, of plant matter. They in turn became prey for large predatory amuntis. Uh, uh, okay. Reptiles. The reptile clade includes the tutra, lizards, snakes, turtles, um, crocodilians, and bears. Along with a number of extinct groups, such as the large non-flying dinosaurs, because all of the living reptile lineages are highly derived, 
Man can survive as a straightforward model for the illest reptiles that lived some 320 million years ago. Nevertheless, comparative studies allow us to infer some of the derived characters that likely distinguished early reptiles from other tetrapods. Unlike amphibians, reptiles have scales that contain the um, protein keratin scales, uh, create a waterproof barrier that helps to prevent. Um, dehydration in dry air in crocodiles which have adapted to the um, water non-permeable scales called secutes uh, have evolved scales prevent reptiles from breathing through their skin like amphibians most reptiles rely on their lungs alone for gas exchange turtles are the exception uh, to this rule many turtles also use the moist surfaces to their uh, cloaca for gas exchange. Notice this figure. Most reptiles um, lay shelled uh, eggs on land. Fertilization um, must occur internally before the shell is secreted. Many species of snakes and lizards are viviparous. Viviparous, their extra embryonic membranes from the placenta that enables the embryo to obtain nutrients from its mother. Many reptiles are sometimes said to be cold blooded because they do not use their metabolism extensively to control their body temperature, however. They do regulate their body temperature by using behavioral adaptations. For example, many lizards bask uh, in the sun when the air is cool and seek shade when the air is too warm. A more accurate um, description of these reptiles is to say that they are ectothermic, which refers to the absorption of external heat as the main source of body heat. Uh, by heating directly with solar energy rather than uh, through the metabolic breakdown of food, an ectothermic reptile can survive on less than 10% of the body energy required by a mammal of the same size. The reptile clad is not entirely in ectothermic. Bears are ectothermic capable of keeping the body warm through metabolism. The origin and evolution radiation of reptiles, the oldest um, reptilian fossils found in rocks from Kansas, date from the end of the Carboniferous period. About 300 million years ago, the first major group of reptiles to merge were the parareptiles, which were most large, stocky, um, uh, quadrupedal. Herbivores. Some parareptiles had dermal plates on their skin that may have provided them with uh, defense against predators. Some systematists have proposed that parareptiles gave rise to turtles, pointing to the possible uh, homology of parareptiles, dermal plates, and turtle shells. But molecular studies point to different repti uh, reptilians. Uh, origins for turtles and the subject remains uh, controversial among experts. The parareptiles died out about uh, 200 million years ago at the end of the Triassic period. As parareptiles were uh, dwindling, uh, an equally ancient uh, clade of reptiles, the uh, diapsids, was diversifying. Uh, one of uh, the most obvious derived characters of diapsids is a pair of holes uh, on each side of the skull behind the eye socket. The displaced uh, are a composite of two main lenses. One lens gave rise to the uh, lipidors, uh, lipidosers, um, which include totara, lizards, and snakes. This lens also produced a number of marine reptiles, including um, blissors and uh, uh, 